Hey everyone, welcome to Nerding IO. I'm JD, and today we're going to be taking a look at HeyGen and specifically the feature to stream digital avatars in Next.js. And with that, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing we're just going to kind of look at what HeyGen is, and basically they uh, tout it as AI powered video creation at scale. So what they're doing is they're they're actually creating digital avatars and videos um, that you can then uh, change dynamically. So you can kind of see like some of the the information here is like if you wanted to do a automatic uh, video when like the someone submits through like a CRM or something. Um, I got interested in them for a little bit for the marketing, but then also when they started doing streaming, which is what we're going to dig into today, and we'll kind of look through an example that they uh, have come out with with Next.js. Um, they aren't sponsoring this video or anything. I just uh, liked the service and thought it was cool. Uh, so um, the first thing is when you, you need to log in, again, you can actually build your own avatar. They give you like one free one. We're just going to use uh, the default ones that they have. Um, and once you're in here, again, you know, they have a lot of different things that you can do as far as creating different avatars that you can build dynamically. They have a studio, they even have like a URL to video translations, all kinds of stuff. But we're going to be going into uh, getting our API key because that's the first thing that we need. So if we go in here and we come down to space settings and we have our API, uh, you need a trial token um, and otherwise you'll need an enterprise license. And so what we're going to do is if you look at the repo, they actually go through what this means. Basically the difference between a trial token and an enterprise token is uh, that when you're streaming, you can only have um, like three open and it closes after uh, 10 minutes. So each trial has a three concurrent streaming sessions and it closes after 10 minutes. So there's some limitations, obviously, if you want scale, otherwise you need to get uh, an enterprise token, but to play with it today, uh, you can get started for free. So once we have our token, you just go in, uh, there's another button that says activate, then you just have to copy it. Now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna pull down the repo and get started into their demonstration here, which is, is pretty slick. So first thing, go ahead and copy this code same as you would anything else, just clone it, pull it down. We'll have the link in the uh, description. So I've already pulled this down and done an NPN install and uh, just wanted to show you like the things that you'll need in order to get started with this. So first, you're gonna need that API key that uh, we just downloaded or copied, so put it here. You're gonna need an open AI key and you also need an open AI key for the next JS public. Um, this is a little concerning, uh, but it's a demo, so it is what it is. But if you were going to put this in production, you definitely want to do something different. Uh, you don't want to expose your opening AI key. Very easy to figure that out. Even here it has dangerously allow in browser, so we want to avoid that altogether. Um, a way around that is we'll actually go and look and see what it's doing. So first, we are going to be fetching our access token. But if we look for where uh, this is actually using a OpenAI in the browser, or OpenAI, yeah, in the browser, let's just go ahead and find it. Um, basically right here. So we have this is doing transcription. Um, you know, another way to do this would be to uh, take this wave file and send it to your back end and transcribe it, transcribe it on the fly. Um, another option, if you subscribe to this channel, would be to go take a look at uh, Transformer JS. We have a bunch of videos on that, um, used in a lot of projects. They actually have a uh, pipeline in the browser, so you can actually load in Whisper without ever having to make an API call. It's all free. These are open source um, models that you can actually just load in. In this example, they're using a WAV file, but you can actually do uh, real-time transcription on the fly. You can see it's recognizing my voice. The load time for the model is pretty simple, and it just keeps uh, grabbing the 
the what I'm saying. So that's that's how I would do this if I was doing this in in a production example. But for now, what we're going to do is just kind of go through and see what it's doing. So if we uh, go ahead and run our npm run uh, dev, what we can then do is go to our local host and actually go through their demo. So there's, uh, like I was talking about earlier, you can actually make your own custom avatar. So uh, it's pretty simple to do. I would definitely encourage you to do it. Um, when you go in to here, there's this ability to create an instant avatar. Hey guys, and I'm Joshua, it will co founder and CEO. Take you through the steps of actually building your own. But we're going to use the demo for now. So what we can do is we're just going to select Edward in a blue shirt. You can see it's grabbing the the custom avatar ID. So if you wanted to do your own, you just have to put in your own uh, avatar ID. Same thing with a voice. Um, so we're going to use Paul. And then we're going to start this session. So what this is doing is it's actually creating a uh, a web stream, a web socket. Um, so you're like streaming information back and forth. You can see that basically as an intro for this digital avatar, and then you can text back and forth. So we're just going to say, hey there, and we'll send it. Hey there. And you can see the information coming back of when it's talking. And now we're just going to say, hey there. Just showing some examples on HeyGen and how you work. And we'll just go ahead and, and we can send that. Hello, I'd be happy to help you with that. If you have specific questions or need examples of how I can assist you, feel free to ask. Whether it's providing information, solving problems, or generating creative content, I'm here to help. All right, so you Let can even you interrupt need. the task uh, to kind of like start over. Or since this is keeping a constant connection, we can end the session. Remember, this is because we're doing a trial, it's only going to be uh, a 10 minute session that's allowed. So we're just going to go ahead and end that for now, and then actually go through and look at the code and see what's going on here. So if we come down to the video, we're seeing that this is actually going to be a video stream. And we're going to figure out what this video stream object is. We're seeing our buttons where we can uh, start or interrupt. That's what we just did, or end the session or interrupt. Uh, this is basically showing us our loading screen. So we're just going to minimize that. And this is where we're starting to see the information for the avatar, whether we're sending information or we're actually using the recording, which is this button. So let's start digging into the HTML and just see what's actually happening here. So really what it's doing is, is it's just taking this information and uh, doing a key down or uh, a submit and triggering it back in the main avatar component. So if we continue looking, we already looked at like the transcribe here is basically where we could uh, send the, the transcription to OpenAI, but we could also use Transformer.js. We have our start recorder. So they're actually just using the media recorder, which we've seen a few examples where we're actually just uh, recording natively in the browser. And then what they're doing is they're actually taking that chunk and creating an audio file. That audio file is then stored and it's the, the same way that we're actually taking that blob uh, from previous, this audio blob that we just recorded and sending it. This is basically just our, our file name that we're just making up on the fly. So as we keep going through, when we have our, our speak and we have our end session functionality, let's try and find where the what happens once we actually get the token. So right here is where we have our start session. Up here is our, our token. So it calls out, it takes our API key and calls out to get an access token to then allow us to start a session. So you basically you can think of each session gets a token. Um, 
And then what we're going to be doing is we're going to be passing all this information for our uh, avatar to start. And then right here, what's being returned back is our response data and our avatar media stream, which is where we're actually getting the information from the, uh, the, the media stream. Real quick, everyone, if you haven't already, please remember to like and subscribe. It helps more than you know. With that, let's get back to it. All right, so now let's just take a look at what is actually happening in the back end. So if we look at this uh, access token, we can see here that we're first checking to see if our environment variables in there, then we're actually creating our token and we're just getting that information back and uh, responding with, with a new essentially session token is the way to think about it. And when we're sending information of either what's been recorded or uh, when we type things in, if we want to get information back of streaming text from them, so what we're saying is our, you know, we have our max duration here, but we're allowing streaming of the information. So we're actually using the LLM to go out and do the communication, right? This is where we're looking at our messages, the same as we would a chat, but we're, uh, we're, we're kind of like streaming that information back and forth. How is this actually working? So we have our use stream. This is actually coming from the Vercel S, uh, AI SDK. And we're piping that to our AI stream response. So even though this is in our API, uh, chat route, what's happening is when you come in here and we first fetch our access token and then we've created our avatar as we are uh, handling the chat itself. So we're like submitting information back and forth. We're doing it with this use chat. So the first thing we're going to see is if we've initialized the, uh, the, um, the application and then we're also going to see if the avatar is current if the avatar is current we're going to speak uh, we've also set our initial messages so we're pulling from the event of speak and doing uh, our messages so we have our session our message content and then our message so it's actually going out uh, this is the on finish for the use chat but it's going out getting information, pulling it back. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually look at this in the back end and see exactly what's going on. So we go back to the browser. We'll just, uh, I think it's maintaining state of what we had last time. Let's try and start a session. Cool. Actually, let's end this session. We'll get our network tab up here and let's go ahead and start. So as you can see, we're, uh, getting our token, our access token, and then we are starting our stream. And I want to see if there's any web sockets. There's not. Okay, interesting. So then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and just have them say, hey there, again, and we'll watch what's going on. We have our stream hey there. task. We've got our information coming back. Do we have anything? Uh, and now we'll do the same, but we're going to check with And we can see we've hit Hello. our I'm here and ready uh, to assist chat. You. How it's can I help you It's streaming the information to it, and then it's streaming the information back. So this chat uh, uh, API call that we're making can actually see it in the headers, right? Is this route that we used, and we're doing that with the Vercel AI SDK. And so what's really interesting about this is you could actually create a conversation back and forth in the browser, right? So you could send information. Imagine that this 
uh, simple chat right here is actually a uh, an assistant or a custom GPT. Um, and you're actually having a conversation with a digital avatar. That could be a representation from your, yourself, your company. Um, we've seen examples with like Peter Levels from uh, doing uh, like therapy in the browser. Um, so there's a lot of different things that you could do now that you have this implementation right inside of a next demo. You just have to create the interaction back and forth. Um, so that's why I think that this is really cool. It's definitely something that I'm going to keep playing with. And uh, it wasn't too difficult to set up. All right, that's it for us today, everyone. So what we went through were some of the basic features of HeyGen as well as how to set up a streaming avatar in Next.js. If you haven't already, please remember to like and subscribe. And with that, happy nerding.